Corporate governance is primarily a relationship management process between three main stakeholders. They are shareholders, the board of directors, and top management. Shareholders, otherwise called investors, have minimal responsibility for the operations but participate in the profits. On the other hand, management, with no responsibility in providing personal funds, runs the enterprise. Directors have the authority to establish corporate policies and ensure the implementation of the same responsibly. Listed here are the responsibilities of the board of directors. The board can advise the strategic options to the management by which they can delineate the company's mission. They are responsible for hiring and at the same time firing the top management including the CEO. One of the basic responsibilities of the board is monitoring developments in and out of the organization to bring the attention of management to the developments they overlooked. Resource usage is to be reviewed and approved by the board as a high-level involvement in operations. Caring for and protecting the shareholders' interest is the legal duty of board of directors since they are the shareholders' representatives. Here are the levels of involvement of directors in different organizations. The far leftmost category is phantom directors who are passive in nature and do not involve much in company affairs. Rubber stamps, same as the phantom, never initiate any strategic decisions unless there is a crisis. The next category only reviews the issues put forward by the managers in a formal manner. Boards of nominal participation have limited involvement in the review of key decisions and performance indicators. In the active participation category, the board of directors has committees actively participating in strategies, policies, and objectives. They perform fiscal and management audits too. Catalysts have very active strategic committees which establishes and even modifies the mission, strategy, and objectives of the firm.